Okay, so um, this is our first lesson in logic, right? So logic is the, the, the tool of reason that we use to arrive at truth. Okay, that's what these are philosophers. And definitions for us are going to be very important. And what we're going to do today is we're going to try and play with play with Socrates. Okay, so who's heard of Socrates here? What can you tell me about that? He's a philosopher. Well done. Yep. Anything else? Great. Greek, guys. Nice. Yeah, could be considered one of the greatest philosophers. Excellent. Yep. It's considered the father of philosophy, really. Yep. So he lived about two and a half thousand years ago in ancient Greece. And um, what we're going to try and employ today is what's called the Socratic method, where what we do is we ask questions. And we ask questions because they help us conceive of what something is. So. We're starting definitions, and I've got some definitions of words involved in definitions. So I've got there firstly is a term. Okay? A term is a unit of meaning. That means it's the word we use. It's a symbol of something. Okay? So the word snow, alright, that's the term. It symbolizes something. It conveys meaning. And that's what its definition is. The definition of snow is what is meant by that term, snow. So, this is why definitions are important. One of the first questions we asked you guys in the introduction was, do you believe in God? Okay, and we will just straight away answer without a, without a question. What do you mean? All right. God is a white dude who lives in the sky with a beard. All right. That's how some people conceive God. I don't think there's a dude in the sky. What's the conclusion you're going to arrive at? Therefore, I don't believe in God. Okay, so if God, if you understand God, as a dude in, dude in the sky with a beard, maybe you reject the belief. Some people might say, God is love. You've heard that said here at school. God is love. I believe in love. Therefore, I believe in God. So do we see how two different understandings of that word God lead to different conclusions. And so if we're going to have a discussion about does God exist, we need to make sure we understand what we both mean. Okay, here's one. What does it be? So, uh, does anyone here's name start with A? Harry. You can be A. And does anyone's name start with B? Bradley. Bradley. Okay, so we've got Harry. Yeah, you're going to read where it says A. Do you think it's moral to eat a pig? What do you mean by pig? My mum says my dad is a pig. I don't think it would be moral to eat a pig. <laughs> alright, so it's important. Alright, if you thought he meant your dad, no, of course not. Alright? No, I mean the animal with four legs. So is it like two giraffes, like a cow? No, it's an animal with four legs that likes to play in the mud. My dog Chewbacca likes to play in the mud. He also has four legs. Pigs go oink. <laughs> oh, so it's an animal with four legs that likes to frolic in the mud and go oink. Yes, I think it's perfectly moral to eat pigs. Okay, so, all right, what about this one? What is a square? Let's see if we can do this before I um, un unravel the questions. Who's got an idea? What, what, what's the first word that, first couple of words that pops to your mind when I say, what's a square? Shape. It's a shape, yep. Let's add a little bit. Four equal sides. Okay, okay, cool. So, firstly, someone might say it's a shape with four sides, alright? But then I've drawn that, alright? Now, Bradley, you've said a shape with four equal sides, okay? So, I can, I can make them equal in length. They're all the same length. Is that a square? No, so there's one more detail we need to add. Parallel. Parallel. Yep, so, so opposite sides are parallel. Yep, so at the moment, uh, they are... Yeah, you could say, you know, because it's a rhombus, and then the rhombus opposite sides are parallel. So there's one more. It has to be a right angle. Right angles, excellent. If we have right angles and four equal sides, we've got a square. So you can see, the more details we're adding to it, a shape with four sides, a shape with four equal sides, a shape with four equal sides, all the internal angles are 90 degrees. Okay, let's try a different one. What is a chair? 
Some people sit on. Great answer. Okay. Who wants to play Socrates and say, well, perfect. You guys are thinking like me. Well, you can sit on the ground. <laughs> is the ground a chair? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is an. Is the ground a chair? Yeah, it can be. Is there no distinction to be made between? It has this? legs. It has to have legs. I can oh, has to have legs. Bradley's okay. got legs. <laughs> <laughs> it has right. to be not a living thing. It has to be not, not living. Yeah. Okay. Not living. So something with four legs and a back support. All right. What's wrong with this definition? Four legs and it supports your back. Do all chairs have four legs and support your back? No. No, because we can think of a stool with three legs, or there's even chairs with one leg, you know, with one leg that fans out into a base plate. Um, so then, how about this? We've got, it's man made, it elevates one from the ground, okay, so you see off the ground a bit. Uh, it is for sitting on, generally for the purpose of making yourself comfortable. Say again. A couch, yeah. yeah. It's a type of chair, isn't it? So these are the ways we can define things. We can define them in terms of their function. All right. Function is what does it do? We can define it in terms of its form. That's the shape that it takes. Its properties. All right. What it looks like. We can define it in terms of the sensation it invokes. Oh, it feels really soft when you touch it. Um, the more details we add to something, okay, look what we did with the pigs. Oh, animal with four legs. Oh, animal with four legs that goes on. Animal with four legs that likes to play and goes on. The more details we add, the more clear the definition becomes. Um, but we have to be careful not to add concrete elements. And so obviously, for us to have any discussion about anything, it's clear. We want to talk about whether it's mold or pig. We want to talk about whether God exists. If we want to talk about whether chairs exist, we need to know what is a chair. That's why definitions are important. So, in in your booklet here, all right. The first exercise on logic is about definitions. I want you. Maybe I'll get the boys to work together, and then the girls to work together, and then we might have a bit of combat back and forth about our definitions. You can work with the other guys, but well, actually, maybe go get it. You said it's just in your life. Oh, well done. Please come and have a look. Yeah, uh, so, feel that in. Combat back and forth, arguing about each other's definitions. How'd you go? So, what's the definition? Yeah, no. Yep. A physical object does feel Yep. Stop that.